Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here with some classmate downloads for you guys. As you tap in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous evening. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the About section. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have been nothing short of amazing. And I truly appreciate every single last one of you. So divine ones, let's tap into the vibes here. So the vibes, this is the vibes. You have ignited a mass awakening. Okay. You have uh, ignited a massive awakening within humanity, all right? I was picking up the energy of like a revolution, seriously, because of your role God gave you as the chosen one. You were given a role to overthrow corrupt, the corrupt government, to overthrow corrupt systems that has been set in place to cause illusions that has been set in place to keep humanity and to keep earth, uh, to keep this realm in a, start, in a certain box, like in a, at, at a standstill, okay? To, um, to, it was staged, you know, these individuals done to keep souls suppressed. And like I said, with you ignited this vast awakening within the physical and the spiritual realm, you started a whole revolution. You're, you've ignited a revolution that where you're standing in this big authority energy where you displace and shit. You're, you're crashing systems, okay? You're, um, you're disposing of corrupt organization, organizations, corrupt government, corrupt officials. You have been set a place to dispose these motherfuckers, Okay. To, to bring a tower to the corruption of this realm. And, you know, when you've awakened yourself, when you tapped into who you truly are, this is how you ignite it. Because, you know, when you be in someone with very powerful energy, your, power, your energy, your aura is felt on a universal level. Okay, so just by you tapping into your own power, your own energy, you have helped other souls to ignite. You have caused a mass awakening when it comes to what, what has been hidden. And also you awakening other souls, you, uh, you awaken it in a, in a physical. A lot of you have are a part of other individuals' awakenings, okay? Some individuals may not ever tell you this, but... You are indeed the cause. You have helped other individuals in this physical to awaken. And when I speak on a spiritual realm, you have awakened some very powerful ancient souls. Okay. A lot of these ancient souls being your ancestors. All right. Um, this is like, this is how massive and how powerful your energy is. You're, a, you're causing a mass awakening. You're causing a, re a revolution. You have been called, you have been called to do this. Okay. You have been as part of you, God using you to cause this is your overthrowing corrupt systems. Okay. You have this put in authority to you, you, you overthrow, you outrank these individuals now. Okay. The chosen ones, we're literally coming into our power and our authority. We outranked all this shit, okay? And we have been chosen to overthrow the corrupt system. We have the new systems then set, not even systems, okay? It's just uh, it's just us bringing the world and this, this realm up to speed, up to balance, okay? It's not even about setting systems in place. It's about freeing souls. It's about exposing the truth. It's about getting these low vibrational entities off this fucking realm because they don't belong here, period, okay? Um, so I also was getting like, um, you're causing a mass awakening of, of uh, you're causing a mass awakening and illumination. Like I was saying, you, uh, you're, you, you been caught at this time to, to illuminate darkness, okay? Um, 
you're you're breaking this mass energy of illumination. And this is why it's individuals that is like like I said, they will never tell tell you, but just by you standing in your own energy, your own authority, it's other individuals that are um that's 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 been illuminated. You are illuminated people to what has what has been hidden and you also are illuminated and ignited um like a spark of a awakening into other individuals. Okay. Um and like it's nothing easy it's nothing the powers that was, the powers that were, it's nothing they could do to stop you at this time. Okay. They know what type of force you are. This is why it was a lot done to try to block you, to try to block your energy, to try to block your, your God gene, to try to block you from um, activating light codes within you, to try to block you from receiving codes from the sun, from the moon, from the universe as a whole. Okay. Um, I was also getting the energy out because I heard revolution like that's um, and I also was hearing, hearing revolutionary. A lot of you are reincarnated rev revolutionaries. A lot of you have past life roles as world leaders, as game changers. OK, um, yeah. So this is why, like I'm picking up on someone you always reincarnate as a re as a leader energy, as an authoritative type of figure always. OK. And when I picked up on revolutionary and revolution, I picked up on evolution. And I'm getting you existed in the earlier, the early stages of evolution and past lives. And so has these ancient powerful souls, these ancient powerful beings you're awakening. You're awakening souls that existed in the earlier, the early stages of evolution. Okay. And um, also, you are that type of being as well, primor primordial type of being as well, okay, a original soul, a original being that has existed in the earlier stages of evolution. You are evolution. You are a part of evolution. This is why you being in this energy, you being chosen to, uh, to bring the earth back into this natural state. Okay, so bring things back into its natural state. That is what you're doing simply by existing and simply by being in your purpose. Okay, you have a massive contract with the universe, with Baba Gaia, and as an earth, as an earth angel, an earth, uh, yeah, an earth angel, as a light being, I mean to say, also as a light bearer, a, a light being. Okay, this is what your light. This is what your light is designed to do, is to bring things into its natural state, to bring order. I'm hearing order, divine order, balance, okay? You have a very sacred connection and contract with the earth, bro. You're, you're, uh, you're a star sea. You're an earth angel. All earth angels have sacred contracts with, with, the, with Mother Earth, with, with Gaia, okay? Mother Earth is ascending at this time and it's a lot of things it's a lot of low vibrational energy and entities that's trying to still latch on that's trying to still latch on to this energy but like i always tell y'all anything of a low frequency cannot truly vibrate in the in the new energy that's been that's been uh manifested upon us okay that's been like illuminated upon us that we are bringing this new energy that the chosen ones are in that we are illuminating across the realms across the universe low vibrational entities simply can't function they're not able to live on such a high frequency okay so also what else i have i also have that like it's like you're doing a cleanse. You're doing. It's like you're you're here to to cleanse the earth, okay? To so do it to sweep, doing like a sweep, okay? The earth itself, because the earth is a live living being. The earth is a living organism, all right. And as the earth ascends and the frequency height heightens and the vibrations shift, the earth is doing like an eternal cleanse. This is why you are noticing. Like uh, you are you are noticing uh, a lot of beings that just aren't able to aren't able to like live or process this type of energy anymore. These beings are falling off. These beings are being exposed. 
Okay, low vibrational entities cannot, they they just can't function, okay, on uh, with this new energy that we are here to bring. All right. Um, so the earth is doing a full cleanse of karmic energies. All right. Um, and part of your role as an earth angel is to rid this realm of low vibrational entities. All right. And that's exactly what you're doing. All right. It's a number of beings that don't belong here. And you're disposing of these entities as the earth ascends. OK, as the earth ascends, it's like you're a, you're a guardian. You're here as an earth angel. You're guarding the earth like you're a guardian of, of the earth. OK, and part of you, part of being the earth angel is disposing of low vibrational entities and energy. Protecting the earth realm. You have, you're so connected to everything. You being an original, okay? You being someone that existed during an early, earlier stages of re revol evolution and being an original being, you have that connection with the earth, okay? You have that connection and you are given authority to dispose of entities. Okay, to clear away low vibrational energy that doesn't serve Mother Earth or that doesn't serve this realm anymore. This is why you have you have been given authority to to uh, to sweep out your your enemies. Okay, you you are doing this. Okay, you have been given authority to have this done. Also. Yeah, because bro, well, I put, yeah, you you clear you clear this shit out, all right. You clear this shit out, and I was also getting, you're a weapon. Yes, you are. You're a literal weapon, and this is why I was like, why I was saying, like the powers that were, and these positions, they knew what type of force they know what type of force you are, and this is why you had low vibrational forces that's been trying to block you. Because it's understood you you are a weapon. But I I was getting like God's secret weapon. You're literally God's secret weapon. And God knew, God already knew what position he has you playing, what role he has you playing his lifetime. And God used you as this weapon in, a, in, a, in the, the perfect time. Like this, this is like perfect divine timing. Okay. You're a weapon. You're a weapon that God only brings out like when necessary, because you're very lethal. I'm getting like a lethal weapon. Okay. This is why I'm getting lethal inject injection as well. For a lot of you, I really get it. You were poisoned. Like the cho all chosen was been through that bed poison throughout the span of our childhood. Okay. Um, and that's how you know you're a lethal weapon because you were injected with all type of shit. You were poisoned with all type of shit and you still here. OK, how how you going to poison something that's lethal already? <laughs> Speak. You can't poison something that, that's um, that's already a weapon. That's already lethal. God designed you and structure you as a warrior. OK, as someone that's that's built to take on and to defeat certain energies sent to destroy you. Period. Okay. These motherfuckers, they try to block you with different forces because they know what type of force you are. You're God's secret weapon. And when God bring you out, man, shit is serious. When God bring you out, sh shit, shit is going down. Like for real. Okay. You clear this shit out. Okay. I also was hearing like the cleaned up man, the cleaned up woman. It's like you're the clean, the cleaned up man. You're the cleaned up woman here. Okay, I'm also getting medicine man and medicine woman. All right, you could be someone working with a lot of herbs at this time, or you're an herbalist. You're someone that's very, uh, you have a lot of knowledge when it comes to herbs and their different properties, their different cures. Um, you could be someone that makes your own herbal tea. There's something about herbs here. Okay, you're, and I'm also getting the energy. That's why when you were being poisoned, um, like for, for this long span, the span of your whole childhood for a lot of you, you were being poisoned. And this is why, like, you know, it's motherfuckers that's, that's still confused as to how the, the lethal poison they was injecting you with that. I, I was, I'm hearing lethal injection, injection, bro. It, it was shit given to you that was supposed to kill you. 
It was shit given to you. You was there poison with shit that was supposed to kill you, but it didn't. Okay. It didn't kill you because you're, you're lethal. Your damn self. A lot of you are in your immortal energy. Can't nothing, you can't nothing. No, you and your God energy, you and your God frequency. So can nothing of a low vibration fuck with you. A lot of y'all, y'all immune systems is, is pure gold, literally. Okay. Your immune system is just, is, is, it's very strong, very intense. You have a very strong abuse system and it actually fights off uh, any illness, any sickness. That's what happens when you, you know, you, you choose to intake a certain type of diet. You drink a lot of water, okay? When you do things to, to build and keep your abuse sy system sustained, it's, it fights off disease. It fights off sickness. It fights off illness. All right. And by you being in this God energy, by you being in this power, nothing can touch you. Nothing can be can is 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 a threat to you. You are the fucking threat. Ain't nothing in this realm a threat to you at this time, girl. <laughs> okay. Also, I was also getting something like you destroying the program that you were you were subjected to, okay? As chosen was, we all were like put under so, so, a program, okay? A program when it comes to this corrupt system, a program to, to try to, to try to uh, like consciously suppress our mind because these are beings that understand how powerful especially being a god or a goddess, how powerful your mind and your energy is. And they did this to try to suppress your manifestation abilities as well, like with these different programs. Programs be in school, or should I say the concentration camps, okay? Uh, religion, different society, uh, society norms and like social norms. With all this weird shit these motherfuckers been trying to make normal, and trying to program it, and, and you know, into humanity, into the chosen ones, to, into everyone, to try to suppress our the mind. Okay, to tr and what, when you when your mind is suppressed, you're you're doomed, you're stagnant. Okay, it's no way you could truly elevate and grow if your mindset is is stuck. If your mindset it has been crowned with a bunch of useless ass programs, your brain literally been programmed with by the oppressor with useful shit, programmed with lies, programmed with low vibrational frequencies, low vibrational shit, just to keep you at, in a, at a certain le level, to keep you stuck in a 3D, bro, okay? You have destroyed the program that you were su subjected to, okay? And you did this by reprogramming your subconscious. You could be li you could be someone that listens to frequencies while you're sleeping. You listen to certain... Uh, frequencies, you listen to certain like vibrations um, while you're sleeping. You're you're listening to certain frequencies that reprograms your mind. A lot of you, 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 you know, you know all about like uh, up, up subconscious, your subconscious mind and uh, re unlearning, relearning. You're putting different programs inside, inside your brain. Okay. That's what I'm getting here. Um, uh, and these are the programs that you, it's like you up program yourself from the matrix, literally the, uh, the, it, these were programs that the matrix and these entities that was in power try to pro, they literally try to program you to fail. They, they, it is crazy how they program humanity with all this bullshit. TV is even a program. Why do you think it's, they call like shows or whatever, they call it a program, okay? It's, it's, liter it's literally their perception. They're, it's literally the oppressors giving you a perception of what they want you to be, what they want you to see. And it's bullshit. It's low vibrational. It's, it's designed to keep you stuck, to keep you to keep you in a box, okay? So you don't discover who the fuck you are. It's like a game. It's like you have been, you have been like a part of this game and the game consisted of you going through different tests, through different battles to really get into enlightenment of who you are, okay? And you know, that's just what it is. So 
Let's tap into the vibes. Spirit eyes, how you saw light as I tap into this energy for my divine ones. I ask that you give me clear channel messages. I also ask that you protect me. I also open myself to different energies. Thank you. I show you. But yeah, bro, that's what I'm getting. You're a weapon. Okay? You're a lethal weapon. With a very powerful force. And you you stand in a big authority energy. Okay, you're causing a major revolution in a spiritual and in a physical. Okay, you are a revolutionary. Okay, you are the revolution. You are the change. You're bringing massive change to the world, period. You're a world changer. You're a game changer. Okay, we have mental conflict here over our energy. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> It's a lot of mental conflict when it comes to the powers that were, the powers that were in this position of authority, okay? Because you have overthrown the corrupt system. God has, God ordained you to do this. God ordained you to reincarnate back here as, as this ascended master, as this revolutionary energy, as this leader, okay? To overthrow corrupt systems, Okay? It's a number, like I said, bro, it's a number of beings and entities that don't belong here. All right. That don't belong here. These is a these individuals, they have you, they have officially crumbled. You have officially crumbled the and uh, crumbled the corrupt this corrupt system. Okay. You have completely crumbled the enemies. You have completely wiped wiped away these entities. Okay. You're here to do a sweep. You're here to do a cleanse. And it's my fact that my fact is mentally conflicted because it's a lot of individuals that was a part of the powers that were to work against you and try to block you. They're conflicted because they see that that they know, actually, they know that they are on the list to, to get to get sweeped out this round. OK, they're on the list to go. All right. It's a lot of people conflicted because they already know the outcome. They already know what's to come to them because they are seeing this. They are feeling this. They are witnessing the, the crash and burn manifesting around around them. They are witnessing the destruction. And it's a, it's a lot of individuals, too, you know, as they see you in this power, very powerful energy, they understand and they, they are aware that. You have called judgment and it's people mentally conflicted because also they wasn't aware that you held this type of power as well. And that's part of you being a secret weapon. Because a lot of you come off as very cool, very calm, very laid back. Some, some of you may come off very vulnerable, gullible, but you're very passionate you you just come off as someone very kind hearted okay you come off as someone very soft and, and and sweet this is a part of god's tactic to the enemy this is a part of god's tax, tactics when it comes to any motherfucker that try you god you, God has you this position to use, you have this persona of someone that's very innocent and can do no harm. But this is why you are a secret weapon, because you're actually someone very lethal. You're actually a weapon, your damn self, okay? And this is why people are conflicted. People just thought you were just a sweet, little, innocent little child or something. You were just a sweet, little, innocent, vulnerable person. Whole time, they was going to war with a general. You you confused the enemy. You confused the enemy, and you still have the enemy confused. All right? <laughs> God used that, as a, used that as a tactic. And it's like, with you, God has to balance your light and dark side. Because just how your light side... It's very magnetic, very powerful. So is your dark side. Okay, so is your dark side. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's get some energy from the angel, from the angel guide or a spirit. But yeah. 
That's the vibes. You're not conflicted anymore. You're not conflicted anymore. You are you are aware. Okay, you have brought and you are bringing awareness. By you being aware, you have you are bringing awareness and you're not conflicted. You're not uh, you're not subjected to these programs. You're you're not programmed to the matrix anymore. Look, you see how this person has like how this face is right here? You peel back another layer. You peel back another layer. You've unmasked the enemy. You dethroned the enemy. You overthrew the corruption. Period. Let's get some energy today. What's the okay? We have take a step back and raise your vibration. Upon you rising and it's like you decoded something within your genetics. You you decoded your God frequency. Okay. You decoded something within your energy that got you. It, it is like energy of authority. It would take us that back here. Yeah. The enemy has stood down. The enemy is, is very fearful at you at with you at this time as well. Cause they see the powerful influence you have. In this realm, they see the influence and the authority you have. It's a lot of motherfuckers that that unconsciously stood down. It's a lot of motherfuckers that was made to stand down. But when it comes to the corrupt, the the entities of this corrupt system, they are in fear of they they fear you. They fear you because you have detached from the program and you have awakened to the truth of who you are. And you have awakened these very powerful ancient souls. Okay? No one won't smoke with you at this time. The government, they they stand it, the corrupt it, officials, they're standing down because you're simply in your power and it's nothing they can do with you. These individuals are standing has is standing down too. Because, like I said, you have brought you have brought destruction and you have crashed and burned many corporations and just this corrupt system as a whole. Okay. You've already have manifested this type of tower because like I said, you are here to, to do a cleanse of this earth and rid the earth of these low vibrational as entities that don't belong here. They was forced to stand back. They was forced to stand down. Because they're not fucking with your power. They're not fucking with your energy. Wow. You could be an earth sign. Someone here. Let's get some energy from this thing. What's the vibe spirit? What's the vibe Prison, okay? Prison. These entities are going to purgatory. These entities are being read, okay? These these entities are being stuck in the same. They're being placed in the same box. They try to they try to keep the chosen ones in, and they try to keep humanity in. That's why they mentally conflicted. Because all the magic that the, the this corrupt these corrupt officials been doing, all this magic they've been doing, all this suppression, oppression, it has backfired. It has backfired because you awaken, you awaken some very powerful, powerful ancestors, very ancient, powerful souls, and with you awakening. These ancient powerful souls, they 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 hear and they reckon shit. Wow. They look, <laughs> they slap on you, but now but now they won't. Yeah. They slap on you, but now they won't. God designed it for these people for you to be slapped on. 
I can't make this up, y'all. God created you that way. God want people to look at you and think they can play with you so he can sit their goofy ass down. Okay, it's a lot of individuals that step on you that thought just because you, they perceive you to be someone very innocent, so are very kind. They just don't know that you, it's a, it's a whole fucking spiritual warrior in a vessel you walk in. You have a spirit, spirit of a warrior. These people don't know when they play with you, they plan with their life. They plan with death. You're a lethal weapon, period. Energy exchange, okay? Yeah. With this energy exchange, that's the energy of these, these beings that's been putting out all, all this corrupt energy. It has a strange, okay? This energy that these beings have been manifesting on the planet for many lifetimes. Imagine a whole lifetimes and lifetimes of karma finally coming back. We are speaking of generations and generations of these motherfuckers suppressing, stealing our shit. And imagine all the karma, the karmic debt that's manifested for previous lifetimes, bro. This shit is major, this shit is major. You have brought down, made this corrupt system crash and burn. You have overthrew these corrupt motherfuckers. And this is how you have, you have started a whole fucking revolution in a spiritual realm and in a physical realm. You are, you are now in power. The chosen ones, we are in power now. We are in power now. It's nothing you, we have dethroned these entities. We have stripped these motherfuckers of the power they stole from us. They stole from our lineage. We gonna need, we, we took that shit back like, yeah, we gonna need that back. Let me get that about you. Period. Let me get that about you. Yeah, it's, it is intense. We intensely stepping on next. We intensely stepping on next. So you have caused and ignited this very intense mass awakening. Okay, you have caused a mass awakening of illumination. They feel your energy. They feel your, your power. They know what type of force you are. You intensely stand it on X, okay? And this is moon ritual here, okay? These are higher up indiv individuals that were in this position of power that that been doing rituals on the chosen ones. These entities that... You know, love, I guess you could say the correct government. I call them entities, though. The the motherfuckers that was, these entities that was in this power, they have always done rituals on the chosen ones. They have always abused the moon cycles to do rituals to on the chosen ones. Because we, because the golden shower, I can't make this up. Something about the year 2020. Okay, they've been doing moon rituals on a golden child to suppress your lineage. Also, you bid this golden child. It's something about the moon and your psychic connection. You have an intense psychic connection with the moon. The, like I said, bro, the moon is unlocking codes for you at this time. You're receiving codes and downloads from the moon. Let's get some energy from this deck. And then I want to clarify a few things. Then we're going to get a final message, you guys. You guys, don't forget. Um, I'm going to leave a link. So you guys could... Um, Subscribe and get updates, get uh, discounts. Like when I first open, when I first launch, I'm going to do a discount, uh, a discount for your first purchase. I'm going to leave a link to the Bougie Collection online boutique, the hottest boutique yet to drop. Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. June 2024 is up. Okay. So y'all stay in tune. Charges to the game. Yeah. They got to take this loss gracefully. Okay? They have no choice but to take this loss gracefully. Spirit telling these motherfuckers, charges to the game, bitch. 
and hand over what the fuck belongs to us. It is so, it's crazy how a motherfucker could feel like they taking a loss off some shit that ain't even theirs. Some shit they ain't even discovered. Some shit they ain't even, they ain't even produced. That they have nothing to do with. Charge that shit to the game. Okay? We took our power back. Let's uh, clarify some things. Then we gonna get a final message, y'all. Clarify intents. I, like I said, like I was getting y'all, this shit be the game. This shit be the game. You be put, it was like a maze. It's like you having to go through all these tests and everything just to be illuminated to who you are. This this whole is this whole experience is it, it's like a video game. Okay, this shit is like a game. Your whole experience has been like a maze for you to come into your true self, your true identity. They, y'all heard that horn? They made it this way. Okay. Wow. Solar plastic chakra. Yeah, intense. You're. This is God power right here. You're in a intense, you're, you're in solar plexus chakra. You could be eating a lot of uh, bananas, a lot of um, pineapples. You could be eating a lot of yellow peppers. You could be eating a lot of lemons at this time. You could be eating a lot of yellow, okay? Your, your solar plexus chakra energy is intense at this time. This is your God power right here, okay? You're boldly, intensely standing in this power, and this is why it's it's nothing it, like with you. It's like you being in this energy. It's it automatically, it automatically cleanses and like dispose of of dark vibrations of dark energies because you are overpowering shit. You are overthrowing shit in this intense energy at this time. Okay, you're a light. Like I said, you have you are you caught a mass awakening of illumination. Things are have become illuminated because of you. Individuals have uh, have had an awakening because of you. Okay, clarify. They slept on you, but now they woke. <laughs> clarify. They slept on you, but now they woke. Oh yeah, it's destiny. Okay, we have destiny here. The day destiny could literally be significant here. Okay. Like I said, God used you and puts you in different situations. God used you as a weapon. You 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 were used, God used you as a weapon with in certain tactics when it when it comes to these individuals because it was all a part of your destiny. Okay, they slap on your position, your authority. They slap on the uh, the connection, the sacred connection you have with the creator. Okay. They really slap on your ability to get, your ability to awaken. Your ability to awaken was slap on. Your ability to awaken to the truth, to awaken to your karmic family members, your your ability to awaken your lineage, bro, was slapped on. And you slayed this shit. Period. This lifetime. Okay? They slap on you. But they woke now. <laughs> okay? I just seen shadow. Let's get a final message, y'all. Let's get a final message. What's the final message, Spirit, for my chosen ones? What's the vibes? Conflict and defeat. Okay? You have officially defeated the oppressors. Okay? De defeated the enemy. You, ha you, you have brought a cleanse. You look how they flee. You have, you have, you, you literally making these entities flee. You see all this light? Did I say they can't take the, the new frequency here? The, the new energy is forcing these motherfuckers to purgatory. It's forcing these motherfuckers off this realm where they belong. Your light is forcing all low vibrational entities to flee, to, 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 to be took it out. Okay? And motherfuckers in conflict and defeat, like I said, look, we have mental conflict. 
in conflict and defeat, okay? Because they know, because they are aware of what type of force you are and they can no longer block you. They can no longer block you because you destroyed the programs that you were subjected to, all right? Uh, May 2nd is highly significant. February 2nd is highly significant. But yeah, you guys, that's the vibes. Love you guys. If you want to book a personal or you simply want to donate to the channel, I'm going to leave that info in the description. Till the next video. Bye.